27-year-old Jake Wagner took a seat this morning in this Pike County courtroom that's been reconfigured because of COVID-19. The court set aside a day and a half to debate motions in Wagner's death penalty case, but common pleas judge Randy Deering dismissed both sides shortly after the hearing began. During the brief back and forth, Wagner's attorneys talked about motions involving ballistics and shoe print evidence from the scene of this 2016 massacre. Wagner, his brother George, and their parents Billy and Angela are charged with killing eight members of the Roden family in the middle of the night. Today, both sides agreed to meet again in late October, with defense attorney Greg Myers suggesting more time may be needed. Long-winded way of saying is there may be more fighting and writing to be done as we progress on these particulars. That's the last thing one member of the Roden family wanted to hear. Identifying herself as the sister of victims Kenneth and Chris Roden, the woman told me in the courthouse parking lot that she's frustrated with how slowly the wheels of justice are turning. The woman didn't want to go on camera, but says she's convinced defense attorneys are dragging their feet. She said, quote, let's look at the evidence and take it to trial. Now, Special Prosecutor Angie Canepa said she would like to have a trial date for Jake Wagner set when both sides meet again on October 29th. Canepa made it clear this is the first case the state wants to take to trial. In Waverly, Todd Dykes, WLWT News 5.